is a big house with a big yard, a big area of bush around, a big family that lived there, a cat with a big skeleton in the big closet. Hey, I'm Olga. And I bet you had a big, big smile on your face while you were listening to my big story. Why is that? It's simply because there were too many big words in one tiny short sentence. Does it really sound natural and appealing to you? I bet no, no. And what can we possibly do about that? The question is really simple. So the answer is even more simpler. It's even simpler than that. Use synonyms. Yeah. Now look. Uh, I will change my sentence using synonyms. And you tell me which story sounds better. It was a big house with an enormous yard, a vast territory of bush around. A large family lived there and kept their huge colossal skeleton in their massive closet. Sounds better? I guess yes, it sounds better, way more better than my previous story with all those big words. You may ask me, Olga, where am I gonna find all those fancy words? They're not actually fancy, they're just synonyms. And I've got a really magic book for you called Thesaurus. Yeah, I know, it's really uh, a small book. It's tiny, but it's really worth using. If, for example, we look up for the word big, uh, what we're gonna find out is large, great, tall, high, huge, immense, enormous, colossal, massive, gigantic, vast, giant, and etc, etc. You see, it's really tiny, but it, it has a lot of vocabulary for you to use and to choose from. Uh, another question is, can I actually substitute a word for a phrase or for a word combination or for an expression? And the answer is absolutely, absolutely. Of course, it's not necessarily uh, should be a word to word substitution. No, you may, uh, for example, like in the sentence, he passed his exams well. Okay. Here we gonna here we gonna substitute the word uh, well adverb, and we might say with flying colors. You see, it's not even the same part of speech. So he passed his exams with flying colors, which means um, well. So that really works, and uh, so it shouldn't necessarily be uh, the same part of speech. Like we we got our use a noun for a noun, a verb for a verb, an adjective for an adjective, and etc. like preposition for preposition. So you may see from my example that it's absolutely fine to substitute a word for a phrase or a word combination. Another thing is mind the context. Of course, sometimes where it's absolutely appropriate to use uh, one word in another context it should be it, it it's not gone it's not gonna work okay I'll uh, I'm gonna give you one more example for example he uh, for the phrase he died you may say he expired sounds high flown I know but still he expired is okay for he passed away or he, he, he died but you cannot say my passport has died like in the context my passport has expired no it's not gonna work this way so please just mind the context I guess that's it and use synonyms for your essay or for your speech or just both <laughs> in whatever daily situations uh, you find appropriate to, to use a synonym uh, okay, make your life brighter, more colorful, and big hug for you, huge hug, hug for you, enormous hug for you, and I'll just see you around. Bye!